as a person in a leadership position, what should I do if I consistently notice one of my guys motivating the team and leading them successfully during projects and missions better than I can? The completion of the mission being the top priority, would it be better for me to back down and let my counterpart lead, which will benefit the company and its employees? And how will I regain my status among them? I think this one's actually pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. If you've got someone that's doing a better job leading, then let them lead. Mm -hmm. Let them lead. Give them some room. Learn from them. Support them the best you can. And the best way you can most likely support them is by getting out of the way and letting them do what they're doing and then get them the support that they need. And what this is going to give you the benefit of is now you can, instead of looking down and in and managing your team, you can look up and out and forward and see what is going on in the future and prep the battlefield in, in the future or prep the next market area or look for recruit. You know, you can move, you can lead, you can actually lead. Mm. And let that, you know, young buck handle the things that are going on tactically on the battlefield right now. I used to say this to the to the SEAL leadership, I used to say, hey, the enlisted SEAL leaders handle the problem that is in their face right now, the tactical problem that's in their face right now. The officer should be looking at what we're gonna do next. Mm. That's kind of a e- really simple, it's not always like that, but that's a real good starting point. And so in this position, I'd be like, oh, I got a young buck that's coming up and leading well, cool. That's gonna allow me, allow me mm. to look up and out and be ready to move forward. And plan the next move now as far as regaining your status as a leader you won't really need to because if you do this properly you'll be seen as a leader who is confident enough to let a subordinate leader step up and lead while I go and move forward the you'd have to regain if you were there shutting this person down and trying to micromanage and doing a worse job than everyone on the team knows that that guy could do a good job Mm -hmm. let him do it yeah, that's true, huh? That's about confidence, really. Mm-hmm. It's about like, do you have, are you confident and are you secure in your leadership? Oh, ability? yeah, to step aside. To step aside and let someone do can. it. Yes, no problem. Yeah. We love it. Hey, you, you're really good at this. Cool. You, you step in there and do it. I got no problem with that. Will you get the occasional yeah. person that's like, oh, look, Jocko's, Jocko's letting that guy do it because he doesn't know what he's doing. Occasionally, yeah. yeah. One out of 20 people will be that big Mr. Negative. That's fine. Yeah. You know, then then what's cool is when you're on the outside, guess what you are. When you're when you let someone else run the team, guess what you have. Guess what you have. Detachment. Yes. Oh, yeah. Echo Charles. I've been learning. Yes, you, you know. have detachment, and yeah. so now you're going to be able to see things that even that leader that's better than you can't see. And then when you come in, you're going to look like the tactical genius because you point <laughs> something out, but they didn't notice because they were in the firefight. Tactical genius. Yeah. That's the way it works. Things good. Yeah, that's hard to do that. Man, when someone's doing better than you, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. That's right. I mean, why well, you say it, take, what, it takes confidence is what you say? This is that's such a good example of keeping your ego in check. Because yeah. what you just said, everyone test. feels that. And when you feel yeah. that, that's when you go, oh, cool. I'm, my ego's getting out of control. It's fine. Yeah. Just put it in check and let this person lead. And I'll move, you know, check out what we're going to do next. I'll yeah. look ahead on the battlefield. Shoot, I want, I'm trying to think like how, how you said there occasionally there will be a guy who will be like, oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. So he's letting do. I, I. I've been in that situation where my boss, actually, I've been the guy who my supervisor like said, oh, yeah, you like you handle, you take this, you know, you got this one kind of thing. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're doing it because you don't know what you're doing kind of thing. And everyone knew that. Mm-hmm. And so I've been in that situa- situation where I'm looking at him. But the- now, now think about this. Think about if instead of him just saying, hey, you can go ahead and run this thing. Think if he would have said, hey, Echo, you're really good at this. You're better than I am. Yeah. You step up, run this. Yeah. I'm gonna be over here looking where we're going next. What would you think then? Yeah. So he's yeah. actually said that before, like a couple times, and it, it, every single time it made me feel way better. Like there about the whole you thing. Go. Um, even the, I mean, of course, the, the truth will set you free. Yeah. So I feel like if I was one of the, you know, one of the team guys on the teams thinking that, I think I wouldn't think that if, yeah, if he did that kind yep. of stuff, yeah, totally. or if, or if, as long as he didn't act like. I'm this so is the counterintuitive still, part of leadership. You know? This is yeah, the counter. This totally is the thing that's counterintuitive. Yeah. You think 
that if you hide it, yeah, 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 yeah. it's better. Mm-hmm. And the better thing to do is be like, hey, Echo's really good at this. He's better than I am. Yeah. And he's going to step up and run this thing. And mm-hmm. people are like, oh, wow, Jocko's super confident in his leadership. They don't they don't verbalize in their head that. Right. But they, that's but just the feeling. That's the feeling that yeah, they get. Yeah. yeah, yeah they're yeah. like, yeah. yeah Jocko's, Jocko doesn't care who's running this thing. He's just, yeah, we're good. It's good, man. Yeah. Get so watch out for that. Get to remember, though. Just keep your ego in check. Yes, sir. At all times. All right. Let's have a podcast that's less than 19 hours long 